to my fellow musicians, um, I say to you, get a contract. Um, and let me explain to you why I'm telling you um, to get a contract. First of all, you're employed by the church. Generally, you're taking care of your family off of whatever portion of income you're getting from the church. So you wanna ensure that you're protected. The, the church is protected, but also that you and your family are protected. Um, if something would ever happen, um, you wanna make sure that you understand that a contract is a binding agreement. In other words, if you have a contract, it just cannot be done away with, oh, just whenever I feel like I don't wanna abide by the contract anymore. Um, you wanna make sure that you understand the term of the contract, the term meaning how long do you actually, are you actually employed under the, under those agreements? So if, let's say you signed a, a, a contract for a one year, you have a one year term um, for your contract. After that one year, then you can go back and negotiate your pay. Um, do you want a raise? Do you want another week of vacation? Do you want a vacation? Um, you get to negotiate those um aspects of, of the contract after that one year term or two year term or three year term is up. I recommend um, one to two years, no more, um, no less, because because you can't negotiate, renegotiate anything after that. After that, um, the scope, meaning what have you agreed to do? What do they expect you to do? And what um, do you expect from them? Um, that's the actual scope of the agreement. What do you expect them to do and what they expect of them? And then the termination clause. Um, what what can happen that would cause you to be fired or to uh, for them to not have to pay you um, in regards to your actual contract, in regards to what you actually agreed on? So if this happens, then we no longer have to honor the contract. Make sure that you understand all of those elements, but a contract, most importantly, a contract is a binding agreement. So if you come into a church and you have a binding agreement, then by law, the church is obligated to take care of you. And then by law, you're obligated to take care of your responsibilities that you have in the contract. All right.